Hello everyone, today I will give you an example related to conditional statement if, l if, and l. This example, we will calculate the root of quadratic equation or we can call second degree equation. The formula of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero. To calculate the root of the quadratic equation, we should have to know the value of A, the value of B, and the value of C. Here, I will allow user to input the value of A, the value of B, and the value of C. So, I will uh, give you an example here. I create the variable in A, in B, and C. And then, I ask user to input the value A, B, and C. Using printf, please input value A. And then I use scanf, take D, A. And then I can copy it. Please input the value B, B. Please input the value C, and here is C. To calculate the root of a quadratic equation, we have to have a case study on data. So I have to create the variable plot data. data. Or you can uh, use D. D is represented by data. To calculate data, I have to write here D equal to equal to B square. B square you can write pow B two like this. It means B square. If you want to write B cube, you can write three of four or five or six it's up to you but here we want to calculate b square so we have to write two here power b comma two it means b square b square minus four a c you will see the error here the it will error here why is error because this how function is not inside the stdio.h library or head the file so you have to include the library include the library math.h why we have to include the library math.h because the function pow is inside the library math.h and then you will see here it's not error let's continue it now we can calculate the data after that we have to have a case study on data we use condition to study it first we have to study the data is bigger than zero so you can write if D bigger than zero and second we have to study the data is smaller than zero data smaller than zero we use if we use if here in conditional statement we have to use one if at least one is and after if we use l is or l and third we have to study the data equal to zero so you can study the data equal to zero l if the star equal to zero so i have 
three case study here one is data bigger than zero second is data smaller than zero and the last one is data equal to zero if the data is smaller than zero it means that it means that the quadratic equation doesn't have root so i can print here the quadratic equation doesn't have root if data bigger than zero we have to start we have to calculate it one and two so you have to declare a variable it one and it two it one equal to minus b minus b we can use parentheses here equal to minus b minus b plus square root of data square root of data you can use x q or t and then d here is it mean the square root of d the square root of d is the square root of data and then over two a you can see the formula here is minus b plus square root of data over 2a and then you have to calculate h2 h2 is equal to i can copy this one minus b minus square root of data over 2a and then i know h1 and h2 for the data equal to zero the data equal to zero it means that h1 equal to h2 equal to minus b over 2a so i will calculate the h1 h1 equal to minus b over 2a and h2 is equal to h1 so we can give h2 equal to h h1 here and then in this condition we can print print the equation has two different root it one equal to percentage f and it two equal to percent take f and then you can uh, use it one here and it two and i can pin here print f the i can use quadratic equation quadratic the quadratic equation here yeah the quadratic equation has the ball root 
x1 equal to x2 equal to percentage f I can use x1 or x2 because x2 equal to x1 so let me take it in case I want uh, the data is bigger than zero I should give the value of a equal to 3 a equal to 3 b equal to 4 and c equal to 1 in case I want the value here in case I want d I want d smaller than 0 I should give the value a to 1 b to 1 and c to 1 in case I want d equal to 0 I should give the value a equal to 1 b equal to 2 and c equal to 1 yeah so let me run it please input the value a so i want to test the data bigger than zero so i have to input three four and one you see the quadratic equation has two different roots it one equal to three minus three and it two equal to minus nine you can use backslash here so you backslash in here and backslash in here yeah and let me have a test in case data smaller than zero let me run I have to give a equal to 1, b1 and c1. The quadratic equation doesn't have root. And let me have a test in case data equal to 0. So I have to give up u a equal to 1, b2 and c1. So 1, 2, 1. The quadratic equation has double root. e1 equal to e2 equal to minus 1. In the case, you use one conditional statement that inside the one conditional statement we have if one is and two l if. In conditional statement, we have at least one if and then we use l if after l we use l is or l is up to you but if you use l it means that you could then use l is below the the l here we want to use many conditions to use many conditions you have to use e, l if and l is here i can replace l is by l i have to delete this one by l it's it will uh, input it, it will output the same result why it will it will output the same result because l here it means that if this condition is not true and this condition is not true this one will true so we have only three k the data bigger than zero the data smaller than zero so l it means that in case data equal to zero the why is the same let me run it for i will give uh, i will give the value a equal to one b equal to two and c equal to one let me run the eight one two and one you see the quadratic equation has double root it one equal to it two equal to minus one it's I'll put the same result. However, in quadratic equation, A 
you see here a a could then equal to zero so it can the user input a equal to zero it means that he it doesn't quadratic equation so you have to set condition to not allow user to input a equal to zero so i can create more condition here can use if i have to study a a if a equal to zero then i will print that sorry this equation so this equation doesn't quadratic equation it means that each user input a equal to zero it will print sorry the equation doesn't quadratic equation but in case user input another value another value we will calculate the data we will calculate sorry i have to copy the data to here yeah we have to calculate data and we have to study data here and then we can use l here l here it means that if a is not equal to zero it the condition will be true so i have to copy all this code all this code to inside the L because uh, in the case data is not equal to zero so we have to pack it here and then let me run it for example I input the value A equal to zero zero B equal to one and c equal to 2 you see the mistake is here sorry the equation doesn't quadratic equation or you can write it's not a quadratic equation it's not quadratic equation in the case you use condition you see here is the one condition of statement inside the L condition if you use the condition inside the condition it means that it is nested nest, nested conditional statement it called nested conditional statement because you use condition inside the condition that's why it's called nested conditional statement. Let me run it again. For example, I input the value a equal to 3, b equal to 4, c equal to 1. 3, 4, 1. The quantitative equation has two different roots it one equal to minus three it two equal to minus nine you see it works in the condition because a is not equal to zero